This is hilarious, but what if I told you that tuberculosis also largely influenced a drastic change in men's facial hair? In the late 1800s, when all of these diseases are running rampant, including tuberculosis, it was very popular for men to have these very large, bushy, unkempt beards. What do beards do? They harbor bacteria. If you have a beard and you're watching this, you're probably thinking, oh, I keep my beard clean. There's something dirty about a beard. This was the 1800s. They were not bathing every day. They sure as heck didn't have these elaborate routines. No, their shit was nasty. I want you to remember something that I briefly mentioned in the last video, and that was that before the 1900s, the medical community assumed that some of these diseases might have been inherited. We'll also recall that thanks to this relentless decade-long campaign by Edward Trudeau, the medical community finally accepts Richard Koch's research in 1896 that these diseases are caused by germs. In 1900, at the turn of the century, when they're launching this massive public health campaign, not only are they telling the women to lift their hemlines off the ground, but they're also telling the men to shave their beard. Now they're realizing that the reason family units were getting these diseases together was not because it was inherited, but because of the transmission process through droplets, which can be harbored in the beard. They didn't want these men going home to their wives and their kids and kissing them and getting them sick. Promptly in 1900, you start to see this new trend in men where they are clean shaven or just have a mustache. Popularity of this look only continued in the early 1900s because of World War I when men needed to be fitted for gas masks. Now what I just find so juicy about this is we can totally relate to it today. It happened again just on a smaller scale. Think back to the beginning of the COVID pandemic just a few years ago, how many practitioners with beards were just livid that they had to shave their beards to be fitted for respirators and N95 so they could take care of COVID-19 patients. And those are just a few examples of how medicine has influenced fashion and history. Don't you love it? Isn't that great?